Welcome to Catholic Daily Divine, your daily source for spiritual inspiration and reflection. Reading of the Day A reading from the book of Isaiah 7, 1 to 9. In the days of Ahaz, king of Judah, son of Jotham, son of Isaiah, Rezin, king of Aram, and Pekah, king of Israel, son of Remaliah, went up to attack Jerusalem, but they were not able to conquer it. When word came to the house of David that Aram was encamped in Ephraim, the heart of the king and the heart of the people trembled, as the trees of the forest tremble in the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Ahaz, you and your son Shir Jashub, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool, on the highway of the fuller's field, and say to him, Take care you remain tranquil and do not fear, let not your courage fail, before these two stumps of smoldering brands, the blazing anger of Rezin and the Aramines, and of the son Remaliah, because of the mischief that Aram, Ephraim, and the son of Remaliah plots against you, saying, Let us go up and tear Judah asunder, make it our own by force, and appoint the son of Tabil king there. Thus says the Lord, This shall not stand, it shall not be. Damascus is the capital of Aram, and Rezin is the head of Damascus. Samaria is the capital of Ephraim, and Remaliah's son the head of Samaria. But within sixty years and five, Ephraim shall be crushed, no longer a nation. Unless your faith is firm, you shall not be firm. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel of the Day. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Matthew 11, 20 to 24. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done since they had not repented. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld, for if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Words of the Holy Father. Today can be a day for us to make an examination of conscience with this refrain from Jesus. Woe to you, woe to you, because I have given you so much. I have given you myself. I have chosen you to be Christian, and you prefer a life by halves, a superficial life, a little bit of Christianity and holy water, but nothing more. When this kind of Christian hypocrisy is lived, what we end up doing is casting Jesus from our hearts. We pretend to have him, but we have cast him out. We are Christians, we say. We are proud to be Christians, but we live like pagans. And this attitude is harmful to us because it reduces the gospel to a social or sociological fact rather than a personal relationship with Jesus. Jesus speaks to me. He speaks to you. He speaks to each one of us. Jesus' preaching is meant for each one of us. How is it that those pagans, as soon as they heard the preaching of Jesus, went with him. And I who was born here, in a Christian society, have become accustomed to it, and Christianity has become like a social habit, a garment that I put on and then lay aside. And Jesus weeps over each one of us when we live out our Christianity formally, not really. May the wisdom and guidance of Pope Francis' words fill your heart with peace and strengthen your spirit on your path of faith. Amen. Eucharistic Adoration Prayer In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that you are really here in this sacrament. Night and day you remain here, 
compassionate and loving. You call, you wait for, you welcome everyone who comes to visit you. I thank you, Jesus, my divine Redeemer, for coming upon the earth for our sake and for instituting the adorable sacrament of the Holy Eucharist in order to remain with us until the end of the world. I thank you for hiding beneath the Eucharistic species, your infinite majesty and beauty, which your angels delight to behold, so that I might have courage to approach the throne of your mercy. I thank you, dear Jesus, for having become the priceless victim to merit for me the fullness of heavenly favors. Awaken in me such confidence in you that their fullness may descend ever more fruitfully upon my soul. I thank you for offering yourself in thanksgiving to God for all his benefits, spiritual and temporal, which he has bestowed on me. Grant me grace and perseverance in your faithful service. Please pause for a moment of silent adoration and to offer your personal intentions silently. Benediction Prayer May the heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even until the end of time. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share to spread the light of Catholic Daily Divine.